So hi guys, this is my uh, third video um, into my, my journey in composite modeling. Um, this is um, a basic setup video of Fusion, so how you set up Fusion initially to work from um, and to save a template out. So if you ever need to kind of go back to the start, you don't have to do all the basics. Um, so when you've downloaded the application, you've created an account and you sign in, this will be um, similar to a window to, to, to what you log into. As I mentioned in the last video, this is your kind of projects window, your, your data panel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project to start with. So you click the button up there. Composite modeling. Nope, sorry, it's composite building. RC models. Okay. We're going to save all our data in here, so I'll just double click it. And for the time being, I'm just going to close this window. Now we're going to uh, do the setup in Fusion. So the first thing we need to do um, is go to document settings, do the drop down. At the moment, the unit's in meters, which we don't want. So we click the lock button. We drop the, the window down to millimeter, hit OK. OK, that's done. So now we've set the, the units. We want to turn the origin on. The origin is the center of your workspace. This is your top and bottom elevation, your side elevation, and your front and rear, basically. Okay, so now that's done. A uh, quick tip, if you press S, you'll bring up um, the design shortcuts window. So wherever you click on the screen, if you hit S, it'll appear right under there. Um, and you can add and remove all of your, you know, the shortcuts that you use a lot. So for example, I use loft a lot. So just for, to, to, to um, just to give you an example, I'm going to just drag and drop that out. I'm then going to type loft. And you see it brings it up here and highlights it. And it's got this little arrow at the end. If you click that, it will then add it to your shortcuts window. Um, and actually on my um, space mouse, this button here, which is my, my left hand, left thumb, um, that is, that's my shortcut to it. So I've got all my shortcuts exactly where I need them really quickly. And whilst this is quite simple, the amount of times you have to go up to click something, to pull down a menu, to go down and click it, it saves time. Trust me, it saves time. Every, everything in CAD, you know, any productivity thing will save time because it's highly repetitive. There's a lot of the same things that go on. Okay, so that's that bit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a canvas in. And the purpose of the canvas is to um, is to give us something, a framework to work from, something to look at and design on top of. Um, I've downloaded a, a, a couple of jet images, which I'm, I'm going to bring in. Then what you do is after you bring them in, you calibrate them so they're the right size. And then you basically start modeling, drawing your construction lines and modeling on top of that. <clears throat> And I would suggest doing this. So what we need to do is you could insert canvas. Okay, so insert from my computer. Um, we're going to say left. Okay, so I've just na navigated to where it was. I'm going to select the left or the side pane. And then click, click, click OK. Then you can do it. You can either click the plane before or after. It doesn't matter. When you're bringing it in so the same thing we're going to do the top one okay so now if i zoom in i know i already know because i've done this before this is not the right size but okay so first off they're not aligned um, in the same orientation so if you here you can see where you've we've brought it in it's got this little ball here so what we do with it we just grab that ball and we just rotate it around 90 degrees and now those images are both now in the same orientation. They're not aligned properly um, vertically, but we'll do that in a second. <clears throat> so before we do that, through experience, I am going to calibrate them because I aligned them before and then you calibrate them and they scale up. So you're better just doing one at a time. So what we'll do is we're going to do the top. So you go down into the canvases, right click, calibrate, to top again this i'll keep saying this not perfect okay so there we go that's the front and here in the rear which is the end of the um fuse this is 16 millimeters which is not big enough 
Okay, so we're at 2,000. I don't know what the exact uh, number is, but you would know that. You'd know the, the length and the wingspan. So we're going to turn that one off. We're going to do the same with the other one. Now you can see how small it is in comparison. So we're going to calibrate this one. We're going to go to the right view just to make sure. And although you can't see the little crosshair like you normally see, it's there. So if I just click there, okay, and about there. It's not right. It's not perfectly per um, perpendicular, but um, it's going to give it two meters as well. Okay, so now they are the right size. Now what we need to do is align them. So this top view here is on this uh, on this plane is on the right plane. So I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to move the bottom one. Uh, edit canvas. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Left edit canvas. And then we're just going to drag it up. Da, 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 until it looks about right. That looks about right there. You can see there where they intersects. Yeah, it looks about right there. It's not perfect, as I said. We're not looking for perfect. We're looking for something to help us. I don't have a front uh, front view. So while I've been working on my model, I've used this as a kind of basis. I've just had to um, sort of eyeball it. You know, look at pictures, etc., to 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 get it the way I want it. Okay, so that's now our canvas in. So what we are going to do is we are going to, um, we're going to save this. Okay, we're going to save this as canvas template. Save, then open a window here and our canvas templates there. Okay, next thing. I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a website. This is called GrabCAD. <clears throat> this is a free resource for for 3D CAD models. So if you go and you type, for example, servo, um, and you go in here, oh, there we go. There's a servo. There's another servo. These are RC servos. There's a lot of other things in there as well, but you know your servo is a, gen a generic term, but there's tons in here. There's branded ones as well. I'm sure there's a Savox one somewhere. There's a Savox one. Um, there's, you know, the Hobby King ones, those red 20 kilo ones that are, I, you get the various branding on those. So, and there's lots of stuff in here. There's electronics, batteries, all sorts. So they can help first uh, with, you can, you can weight these. If you bring them into your model, you can work out angles of, you know, for geometry, for, uh, you know, push and pull rods with the servos. You can put engine and motors and turbines in to help uh, with package space. So where does it going to sit? How much does it weigh? You know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a really good way to help conceptualize what we're, what, you know, what we're doing. Um, okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to open uh, one of the models that I have downloaded here. And Fusion will open this in another window, which I will save straight away. And really what I'm going to show you here is how you bring it into Fusion. Okay, so it's a turbine. This was off GradCAD, really, really nice model. Um, so I'm going to save that in the same folder and it will appear over here in a second. There we go. So then what I'm going to do is just close this window. <coughs> And once this is finished, I'm going to drag that over here. I'm going to bring it into this window. There you go. Okay, it's not in the right place, as we can see. But we've got a turbine model there to work from. How I now I know how why I, I need to make my model. You know, as long as you is sized up properly in relation to whatever turbine you pick. But you can have a turbine, then you can have the servos, electronics, etc. So it helps planning, packaging, etc, etc. Okay, so that that kind of concludes um, this uh, video. I'll speak to you the next time I do one. Thanks, take care.